Okay, we're live. Woohoo! So, good morning. <laughs> <I'm>... <sighs> <laughs> okay, well, for anybody, I guess I sh should say, had a tough week this week. Uh, father in law, my father in law is in the hospital with a heart attack, um, not doing really well. So we've we've had a lot of emotional stuff going on this week. So, but we're gonna try and get through this and <laughs> show you some new stuff that we have that's good. Yep, that's and, what we're uh, gonna do. And we are closed tomorrow for Labor Day. We are. Uh, but we are open today. Uh huh. We have uh, Natalie, Lynette, and Lillian is here too. Yeah. So please come in and see us today because you know. There's always that craft emergency. Make sure you that, have everything you need. That's right. Monday, in the middle of the day, you're out of glue. I know. What do you do? Because I had to stop in the other day <laughs> because I needed a craft pick. Yep. I, I was doing little die cuts, and I needed this because <laughs> it was in the studio, and I don't have one at home. So. Yep. Yep. So, so close and tweezers. Tomorrow, open today. I couldn't find my tweezers. So. Yes, tweezers. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, do we still have Maker Mania kits that haven't been picked up? All right. So if you're watching and you have signed up for Maker Mania and you haven't picked up your kit, you may want to do that because Maker Mania starts on Friday. Yes. Okay. We have had store intros for the last couple since like Wednesday of last week. And um, so just want to remind you, I, I did send an email out to a couple weeks ago. I'll re-send it out so that anybody who hasn't joined can do that. So um, we have lots of, new, well, not as much as in past weeks, but we do have <laughs> quite a bit of new to share. Um, our it's newest, like more papers today than stamps. We had a lot of stamps and dies yeah, last week. Yeah, last week was a lot of stamps and dies. We only have um, the new waffle flower release, which is today's the fourth. It's the fourth. So technically this is a, a tomorrow release. So I don't know. Okay. I'm going to show it to you <laughs> and hopefully I don't get in trouble with waffle flower. Uh -oh. How's that sound? Well, we don't want to get in trouble with Waffle Flower. No, but I'm like, like we have flower. their new release. I want to say it's on the 5th, though, but we're close on the 5th, so you might have to get it today. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then a new um, glue for us. It's called, we've had lots of requests for it, and they just started taking wholesale customers again. They kind of, like, were maxed out um, and keeping up with production, so now they're... Uh, head of production, so they opened up the wholesale accounts again. It's called Barely Art. Um, it comes in this box, and we have opened one, so you can see what you get because it is. Um, so you get a. This one has a four ounce bottle of glue with this um, specialized tip, and then it comes with different size and. Um, pretty thinking the glare probably sucks but it comes with different size tip that fit on here so that if you need to do detail or a little bit wider and there's also a stainless steel pin in here and here you can kind of see their little card that tells you the sizes there's several people raving about this glue apparently Christine Bensel says it's fabulous she loves the tiny tips so um, they have them all right, put this all back in the box so I don't mess anything else up. And then we do have it in the mini, and it looks like we have sold out of one of the bottles already. This is the original, the the refill. We sold out of the refill already. Um, so, anyway, so that's that. We do have new lids if you need a new um, tip cap. We have a new tip kit if you need that. And then they have these really cool um, little pieces of plastic that go on your tip so that you don't have to put take the whole thing apart while while you're using it. You do need to clean your tip when you're done, is from what I understand. So, so is this glue dry clear? And is um, it... Dry is clear. I mean, everybody is raving about this glue. I have had a bottle that 
Sam and I bought at when it first came out, we're like, yeah, it's glue, but we like our Nouveau and our glitter glue, so it works fine for us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but everybody, I mean, it's kind of like that thing everybody needs to have. So everybody has their glue preference. Exactly. <laughs> so we we try to accommodate where we can. Okay. Steve um, Mensel said that little silicon tip works great. Perfect. Um, the other thing I wanted to share is we've had some requests for Whimsy stamps. Um, Denise from Whimsy has contacted us, and we can now start ordering. I just don't know what you guys are all looking for. So okay. if you can um, so, let, send us a message on Facebook to let us know what you're looking for so that I know what we need to look at when we're ordering. I have a cart started. Um, of things I liked, but if there's anything else you need, let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, then I guess let's show waffle flower. Is there some questions or no. comments I need to know? No, there's a bunch of discussion about the different glue and uh, preferring one glue over another because of the bonding time or whether it's thin yeah. or thick or. Yeah. <laughs> glue is a very personal preference. <laughs> Some people will, you know, say they come in using the blue bottle of Tombow, and I'm like, how the heck can you use that stuff? It, every time I use it, it ripples my paper, and it doesn't stick together. It takes forever to dry. I get so frustrated. So <laughs> I'm like, I will never have that glue in my store because I don't want anybody to be frustrated with it. Yeah, see, so, Kathy says, I'd like the tip you can close on the glue and a refill. Oh, so, I think that's what... We we yeah, sold out a refill, so we just have... The um, four ounce and the mini, I would recommend the if you really like the glue to go with the four ounce with all the uh, tips to get started. Um, but there again, we have a ton of glue up there, so that whole shelf right there, right yeah, in the middle, is of, all that's a lot of glue, different types of glue. So, so yeah, plus there's a few in here too. We got Ultra Bound, we have Lawn Fawn. Um, we have Hero Arts Precision Glue. So we've got okay. we got glue for everything and everybody. So buy one of each and try them all out. <laughs> and see which one is your favorite because that's literally what you have to do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's do a waffle flower. Okay. And um, so this is a hot foil plate. It says Merry Christmas. They have no, no designs on the packaging, so you kind of just have to go with it. But it's a really pretty script. Um, this one is basically the same, except that it is um, a die version. Um, you do need to buy the die version if you want to do the cut out the foil, though. So, okay. So then you have to have both. This is another foil plate. It's called an elongated hex plate. These lines are on the thin side for a foil plate, but they're, the samples that I've seen have been really cool. And then they have a stencil that matches so that it is a two layer stencil so that you can then color in and get a whole new effect. I don't know if you can see that through the camera, um, but it is pretty cool. Now these you can use a laminator or a glitter, glimmer machine or? These are the glimmer machine, okay. the hot ones. Uh, okay. Laminator won't work. It's the Laminator is done with the ones that are toner sheets. Okay. 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 That are pre-printed. Um, and then this was a eucalyptus panel, so it's really pretty little leaf um, frame because it does have a definite frame there. And that's a die. That is a die. Okay. I will comment and say that it is a foil plate if that's what yeah, it is. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Um, then we have Happy New Year, and this is always asked for and doesn't always happen. So we have Happy New Year in a whole bunch of different fonts. Wishful and... thinking. <laughs> so <laughs> 2020 didn't work. Okay. Um, I and might then, have paused it for a minute there. I accidentally, yeah. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. We were just talking about 2020, 2021, and 2022. And, and hoping for a, a happy new year. So, yeah, happy new year. Um, yeah. This is a circle. It does say happy new year. It's very scripty. Um, it cuts it in. There's not a, there is not a line around the outside edge. So it cuts it into your panel. And then you put a different colored piece of paper behind it um, because there is a lot of um, little bits that come out of there. 
And there again, we might have to find a waffle flower picture to put on there so you can see that. And then um, stacking banner die, which would work really well with this foil plate um, that has a whole bunch of um, Christmas and New Year sayings on it. So peace, goodwill um, from our family. Just a, a few little, but that is for the, this one is the foil plate. And then this one is another foil plate, and this one is a swag background. So it does, um, I don't know, kind of like a swag. Yes, like curtains. Yeah, if you've never used a Glimmer machine, we do have some a YouTube video on we our site. We do have a YouTube video on our site, and we do have um, the last Thursday in October from 2 to 4 scheduled for another Glimmer demo. Okay. Sam, going to do another one? Yep. Awesome. Um, and then we have, this is a stamp and die combo. We have thank you for, and then you can thank full for you. I'm sorry. Sending, Sending my love, my love happy thank birthday. You, love and thanks. Love and thanks. So just a good little birthday thank you kind of set. All right. All right. So that is waffle flower. Waffle, waffle flower. Waffle flower. So there's a waffle flower too? No. No. Just a waffle flower. Just a waffle flower. Okay. Um, and then these things. we have graphic 45. So this one, this one is one of my favorites. I must say, um, you used to say that about every graphic 45. <laughs> no graphic 45 is kind of hit or miss. I love the company of themselves. Yeah. The designs are some kind of hit or miss for me. Um, this one, I love the colors and I love the theme. So. And people um, probably don't know, but it's a family-owned and run company. Yes. The daughters and sons, and they're all travel and around. And Mom is the designer. Yeah. So we're going to start with the papers. It, this one is called... Oh, it's, Something talk, Mushroom? <laughs> no, it's called Little Things. Sorry, even when I was talking to Jeff earlier this week from Graphic, I couldn't think of the name of the, of the line. Um, little things. So it has a fairy and kind of a toadstool mushroom little theme. Oh. Um, so there you can see the fairies, the toadstools. Um, remember, they're cut apart. This signature page is meant to be cut apart. You pick out your little areas, cut them out, fussy cut them, and create with them. So um, you have to really learn how to use their papers and that is by pulling out those little designs um this one is a lovely it says hello ladybug and uh, sam's like there's no ladybugs on there but the back side has ladybugs oh. and butterflies oh, there and they flowers. are <laughs> so all throughout all throughout um this one is another one that's super pretty with the little butterflies mixed in there the yellow um and white flowers nice green polka dot We've got the blue, gorgeous. This one is probably my favorite, though. Look at those toadstools there. Aren't they so cute? Um, those of you that always look for paper for St. Patrick's Day, you might want to grab this one. It is shamrocks, and the back side is a cut of hearts. So there again, that would be a good one to use on St. Patrick's Day cards there, too. So you got to think ahead a little bit sometimes. The grass is greener when you water it. Um, then we have Forget Me Not and another page that is perfect for fussy cutting. You can get your little designs out of there. You could even die cut. This one would be perfect in an oval, a circle. So, um, And then this pretty one that looks like it says Bloom and Grow. It looks kind of like uh, Bleeding Hearts. And then on the back side are the... Um, borders which are look at how flipping cute that is and then there again it's another one um then we have their ephemera so then it has got all those little bits and pieces already die cut for you they are all laser cut and they're, they're bigger than they look yeah yeah they're okay. in size um and then they have their journaling cards i'm going to open them up because i might need to keep a page please I need a what? Keep these. <laughs> um, because their front sides of you know are great for like little card fronts or whatever. 
but their back sides are just as great because they have like journaling spots so postcards and then oh those are nice so all kinds of fun there so if you like to do journaling could you really mail those you could really mail those you could you? really mail them too wow um i don't know they're not really super heavy but so the post office may or may not but these are the three by fours there again you got journaling on the front and then these are perfect for your card fronts so okay i always like to open those up because they're two-sided and they only show one side mm -hmm. so i'm going to put this one back in here so that you can see that the postcard is on there um this is new for them these are flowers mm -hmm. that match the collection so they have had six like staple flowers um, packages um, and now they're coming out with the packages that have flowers that match the collections so mm -hmm. this one will match the collections but in saying that they did get rid of their sticker sheet because they found that it was the lowest selling skew so there's no more stickers for the lines mm -hmm. Then we have it in the eight by eight. So just a smaller version. We do have their stamp set. Super cute. They do are continuing to do their chipboard because that is popular. Um, and then we have the collection kit and solids. So. And the collection kit's just the paper, right? Correct. So it did go down in price a little bit because it does not have the sticker sheet in there anymore okay okay which that i mean it most things don't go down price in it these days but it was one way i guess i could keep things okay so this is graphic 45 little things this little is things yep little things ones with the mushrooms or toadstools in the front not quite sure what the difference is I don't know either. Have to one ask you Mr. Eat, one Google you the gardener. <laughs> um, and then their other new line is um, Let's Get Cozy. And it is a wintry line. It could be used for Christmas cards. It's got a Nordic feel to it. It's, it's pretty I love the colors. So um, we'll start with the stamp set since it's up here on top. And then we have this one is their ephemera. So don't even though it has a big card up there. It's got all those bits and pieces in there. We have the matching coordinating flowers for that one. These are those ones that spiral and you can make little rosettes. This one, we'll do the, so let's see what's on the back of this one. Oh, look at how pretty those oh, are. Oh, wow, yeah. So there's the, you know, you have your fronts with all the four by six, and then the back sides. So, oh, look at how fun that one is. Hello, winter. Super cute. If you buy this one, it's in there. I'm going to put it back in. <laughs> All right. And then the same with the little four by three by fours are the same. We've got cute little designs on the back side, too. So, um, then. We have the 8x8 and the chipboard. Oh, that's a little different design. And then here are the papers. So we have deers and moose and quilt designs. So this was very traditional Nordic. Look at that. That's yeah. so pretty. Tammy says she saw those yesterday and loved them. Decided to wait. So maybe next time she's in the store. <laughs> pretty blues. Pretty blues. Flowers is good with the stripes. Um, those houses are very fun. The cut apart sheet. I don't know. It makes me feel cold just looking at it. <laughs> yeah. See, I hang these on my wall at home every time it's 120 degrees this one outside. This is really pretty. I think you could use this one almost all year as flowers and burgundy on mm -hmm. cream. Um, this one, red, white, and blue. I don't see any snowflakes on here. I think you could use this one for 4th of July, Veterans Day. Maybe, maybe. well, there's flowers. There are flowers. I don't see any snowflakes. 
So that one is an all year print. Then we have their stripe, their yeah, stripes or borders, um, more flowers, and then we have this one here. That's really cute too. So there you go. Graphic 45. This one is their let's get cozy. Let's and then cozy. okay. Um, a re-release. Yeah, little things and let's get cozy. So their re-release this time is the Deluxe Collector Edition um, Cafe Parisian. So this one, it's funny. We were going through our back room and we had a make and take that was like partially prepped and it was using this paper. So it's been <laughs> back there for a little while. So, so these are ice papers that sell well and they discontinue have, they've them and then they discontinue bring them, back. them and then usually for longer than five years and then they get a lot of requests and they choose from the requests which ones they're bringing back. Okay. So um, this one is one that has gotten a lot of requests, Cafe Parisian. So they have started doing the 8x8 in the Deluxe Collector and then they've also done the 12x12. 12 12. The 12x12 12 12 no longer comes with the chipboard. So that you can choose whether you want the chipboard with the 8x8 or whether you want the chipboard with the 12x12. 12 12. They have stickers in there? Or no they... stickers. Okay. Stickers are, are a thing of the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah, From we'll these collections, this collection time forward, there's supposedly okay. no more stickers. Yeah, Lori says it's kind of a 70s vibe. Yeah. The colors are really pretty. They're kind of a turquoise blue and pinks and peaches. So... They're pretty colors. It's just not my, not my favorite collection. <laughs> not one I would have chosen to have bring back. Um, and then back in stock are their little stacking boxes. If you, we have samples up with our Halloween line that we use the boxes for that. So they're pretty cool. Those are great gift boxes. And there's two in there. So you can stack them. And decorate them. And, and do decorate all kinds them of and all stuff. the fun stuff. Alrighty then. Um, I guess we'll show, we have a went, oh, let's just move from Wendy here. From Wendy Becky, she has two new stamp sets and she does have a group. So if you want to see samples done, she always does wonderful samples and videos. Um, and then she does have two new pearls, liquid pearls. I don't carry liquid pearls on a regular um, basis, but they are new colors. So I figured those of you that like to collect the, the pearls would want these. So, and they're perfect for Christmas. So. And Wendy's local, right? No. Nope. No, she's not. She's in Illinois. Oh, okay. All right. And then from Diane Reevely, Dilutions, we have oh, some new stencils. So. Oh, card. Card uh, stencils. So the aces or the spades and the yeah. hearts and the. So it's got these designs in here. They're little, little mini four by four ish stencils. Um, so I didn't take the class with her on Thursday like I was supposed to because of family issues. Um, but we were supposed to do a journaling page with this, and these were like all going to go inside like a quilt. So oh, it was pretty cool. Um, so I guess we'll see if we can get that finished so we can get a sample out so you can see that. But Tammy asked if the liquid pearls were similar to the stickles. Um, they have a similar bottle. They are more domed. So stickles, when it dries, goes pretty flat and, and is glittery. These are more like a pearl and keep their shape. So okay. they keep that dome shape. Okay. So... Um, then kind of, kind of like the enamel dots in some ways. Yes. Yeah. Like a, an enamel dot or like the nouveau drops type of a thing. It's just different colors. Okay. Um, then in true American crafts, <laughs> we got in, we got something in, we got more <laughs> bits to go with our mistletoe and, uh, mittens and mistletoe. And I think the, evergreen and holly so we got more little bits to go with our wines luckily Everything. we still have the papers so and sam's like well that's a good thing because our embellishments were starting to sell so now we have new embellishments for those that come in so this is their chipboard 
And then we have some tassels, which is kind of fun. Um, these are charms, they say. They are like epoxy charms. They're pretty heavy. And then we have these epoxy little dots that are fun. And then for the um, Evergreen and Holly Vicky Booten, we've got these fun tassels. Look, well, these are look super cute on the end of a, on the edge of a book. Mm -hmm. um, these are adorable. They're like little um, shaker jars. Mm -hmm. Can you see the little glitter in there? Kind of. Kind of. So, um, and then we have their ephemera bits. So there's two bags, and there's you can see kind of a variety of them. They are. They do not have any foil on this one. It looks like. So, and then their chipboard, and the chipboard does have some foil on it. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is to go along with those paper lines that we've had for a few weeks. That's our drip from American Crafts this yes. week. Yes, a little bit of this and They're a little like bit of that. They're like a drippy faucet, you know, just a little bit at a time. Yeah, and they can't send us everything at one time. <laughs> so. Um, they're a huge company, right? Yeah. We are memory keepers has cute little mini punches. I have been using this for my world card making day cards. So um, it does this, it's just that size. So it's a little itty bitty little flower and it's only $3.99. That's so. the reason she needed the tweezers and the pickups. Yes, because I had to <laughs> pick up all those little flowers that I've done, mm -hmm. that I punched out. So you should, should, should automatically get one of these pickups right when you get one of those <laughs> <laughs> punches. <laughs> Um, and then I want to say last week we shared, maybe it's been two weeks ago or more, the Candy Christmas from Craft Consortium papers. Well, now we got the 3D pushouts. So this one has 10 sheets, five designs, two of each. So there are, I can show you two of the designs. Um, and then there are three more designs in there and you get two of each. So you can make 10 cards from this. And then this one has, um, there has like a chipboard ephemera. So if you bought the papers, you might want to look into getting some of these bits to go with it. Okay. We may still have papers in stock. I have no idea anymore. But we can probably order them if we need, if we need to. Um, then from Dress My Crafts, this is um, a smaller company from India. Um, I have actually known Shalini for many, many years because she used to be a just a regular old store owner and then she started doing the manufacturing. So this one is her, she calls it Christmas bling. So it's got some it's got strawberries in there. Strawberries and Oh, there's a there's a mint. Yes, and mints and sprinkles and they are the clay bits. They're not so, edible though. Non edible. <laughs> And then she also has some other fun shaker mix that you could add the two together. And then the craft consortium. Uh, I think we showed the 12 by 12. Now we have in the six by sixes. So. All right. All right. And. All right. Maybe we need. I guess I'll just start sliding it all down here. <laughs> So we did get in some of our um, home decor gift items and so this because I could have walked around to that side for that matter. Like, yeah. All right, so we're gonna start with this. We'll finish up the paper crafting and then we'll do those. So this one is from um, Tonic Studios. It's called Majestic Gold. It is like a pearlized um, gold cardstock, and it is both sided. I think if you hold it just right, you can see that it has some shimmer in there. Mm -hmm. So it is five sheets for three ninety nine, which is a really good deal because I was looking for other pearlized cardstocks, and they were a dollar over a dollar a sheet. Um, so. Um, then we have 49 in market serenity rub on transfer set. So basically this one's got a sheet of words, a sheet of butterflies, a sheet of greenery, 
paint splatters, some just background textures there. Yeah, you don't need water or anything, right? Nope. You can just and it has a little, your rub, and, rub on tool right there. So you just um, cut it out loosely around the edge, pull it off, put it where you want it, and burnish it down. And it all stays. We decided you could make tattoos from that? Um, it's very temporary. <laughs> this one. <laughs> This one here is their Holiday Wishes rub-on. So we showed you their Holiday Wishes paper packs, was it two weeks ago? Now the rub-ons are in stock. So you can see you've got lots of fun designs here. And they rub on. They they look like they're part of the paper once you're done. It's it's really pretty cool. Wow. Um, then they have a whole release of new rub-ons. So this one is, they're all like more everyday. So we have the butterflies and moths and then on the back side is more of a text in black and white then we have music ones Ooh, i like that one look at the cello and the violin and mm -hmm. oh, that's really neat and then the back side has got um music notes and and like text this one here is just like kind of like a really like a foliage just kind of blends right into your sheets this one's really pretty here and these cost about how much for um there's two sheets in here for 6.99 oh, um but this one here you have at least four major images and right. then you have little bits here to go through and add um it's just they're really wonderful rub-ons and then we have one that's just a bunch of words then we have this one so those of you doing Mega Mania, you may um, recognize that. We were we got those in our kits first to market. So um, then we have a Serenity card kit from them. So then it has like envelopes and um, card bases and rub ons and punch outs. So you can design your own little cards there. So it includes eight A2 cards, envelopes, four designs, two of each, mm -hmm. two sheets of rub on transfers, and eight stickers for how much? $16. $16. And then we have a Christmas one also. Same kind of deal. So super Almost pretty. better off getting that than the rub ons individually. The mm -hmm. card blanks and all that. Yeah. And then we also have the Elena card kit that's that, that is in stock. This one is so pretty for fall. I oh, love yeah. this one. It is. Love the colors. That's my. Those are my colors. Well, I like them because you can just put them together. You, you can, don't have you to think could, about any design. You could easily do them. <laughs> All right, and then. This is good for family members that want you to make a card. And you say, well, here, here's a card kit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh-huh. Um, so last year we had trucks and they were super popular. So we, or and sold out of them. So we ordered some more for this year. This year, the little backing doesn't come off, which is actually kind of much nicer. Um, and they do light up. I don't think we they light have, up. Yeah. I don't think we have a batteries in them, but see those little dots there. They do light up. Oh, okay. All right. And turn it around and see the back. So there's a battery come, I assume the batteries are not included. And they are not. And though Sam just had me get batteries or I don't know, she had Ryan get us batteries. So yeah, we have a connection at the uh, We have a connection. Plus. So we will probably put some batteries in those. I think the batteries are back on my desk though. So, all right. So those They're are LEDs. So they should last they a should while. Last a, they should last with, a while. Looks like it's two AAA batteries. So. Um, and then we got ho some um, winter holiday Christmas ones in. And they have lights in them as They well. also have lights in them. And they're $15, so they're reasonably priced for wood Yeah, and cute. lights. Yeah, Tammy, they're $15. <laughs> yes, exactly at the same time you told her. <laughs> All right, and then look at how flipping cute these are. We have these, I think, displayed with our Simple Stories Hearth and Home. Hearth and something. Whatever their new Christmas line is, that was kind of homey. Not homely, homey. Homey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these are um, just wood stockings, little dangles. Pre decorated. Pre decorated. Definitely, you could, if you wanted to add more decorations, you definitely could. And 
Then we have these snowmen. cute little snowmen. I'm surprised you didn't bring one of these home already. Um, they put them in when I wasn't here. <laughs> oh, that's why. Um, and this one. So these would be look super cute. Put on your counter in your um, if you do the trape on the to decorate. Super fun. Um, then we have these cute little cardinals that sit. These are only eight dollars. I find no, there it is. Like um, that would make a great football charm for the cardinals. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then we got these fun um, metal snowflakes that are embossed. So there are three colors. Embossed. Yeah, yeah look at them. The metal is embossed. Oh, okay. So super, super cute. Would look cute hanging on your tree, hanging in the window. Mm -hmm. um, and they're light. You, could, If you wanted to send a little gifty to someone, it would be pretty easy to put it in one of those um, bubble wrap envelopes and mail it. So. Okay. Um, anyways, that's what we have. Okay. Short week to wait this week or today? Pretty, pretty short week. We only went 40 minutes, so we were 30 minutes shorter than last week. Made up for the last two weeks. <laughs> yeah. So we are open today, closed tomorrow um, for the holiday. And, um, and open again until Thanksgiving, really. Then we're, yeah, then we are. Seven days a week until Thanksgiving. Pretty much. Yeah. I don't know that there's any other holidays in between there. Yeah. Um. So, so then, this Wednesday, is there a lunch with Chris or is it? It's going to be up in the air right now. Um, I'm picking my sister up at the um, airport tomorrow morning or afternoon. I don't know. Yeah. In case you, so, you joined us late, um, father, stepfather, my father was in the hospital, had a pretty bad heart attack. And so we're kind of dealing with family flying in and hoping he's going to pull through and, and all that stuff. All so that fun stuff. It's been so. a, been a, it's been a difficult week or two, so be patient. We'll get back to lunch with Chris. Yeah, so if I can do it, I'll do it. Um, Zoe we'll asked just, if we're open Tuesday. Yes, yes, we are open Tuesday. We're open Tuesday, um, like I 10 say, to 5. Tomorrow's the Tomorrow, last day we're not open until Thanksgiving. Correct. Seven days a week. We're open on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Yep. And um, most all Mondays. <laughs> So unless it's a like a major holiday like Labor Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, we're normally open. Um, I we will um, start posting our holiday because I know that the day before Thanksgiving we're going to close early so that we have time to prepare meals. Um, but we'll be open on Black Friday and on Small Business Saturday. Our and September so, classes are up on the website. September classes are all up on the website along with the calendar. Um, we will be at the expo coming up. Yes. So the girls are busy packing for the expo. So, so please, yeah. if you in the Mesa um, area, we do join us over there. have a couple. We did get tickets on Friday. They You have to come in the store and get them. Um, I pay higher fees to pay to do over the phone to pay for them, so I can't do and that. We don't make any money from I don't them at all. Make we make money, money on the tickets. It's a courtesy for you to come into the store to get them. So right. um, don't do give the it. girls a hard time. I'm the one that made the rules. Yeah. It's I literally. It's a courtesy for you. Yeah. So. All right, and then we'll be there um, in Mesa. We'll be so in Mesa, if, and we'll be there with a good selection of product for you to shop and it will be all the newest products um i also have four 3d printers running 24 7 right now printing out some more stamp gliders holders glue holders new bowl glue holders etc and crossing our fingers we're hoping to get new stamps yes so they're supposed to be ready this week so by you and sam yep so, so. three new sets coming all right and we do have pre-orders in the store for those stamps if you want to get on those lists. So. Absolutely. All right. So, so thank, you, thank you all for hanging out with us and thanks being patient. All, and <laughs> Thanks for all the well wishes and prayers. Uh, we won't refuse prayers. And, nope. Won't refuse them at all. Good thoughts. So thank you. Thank you so much. So, so see, we'll see you. When, maybe Wednesday. Maybe but Wednesday. Next week otherwise. For yeah. Sure. All right. 
All right. Bye. bye.